Put a lid on, bro. Where's it at? What are you doing? We need to loosen up. We need to Dude. loosen up. You gotta get a little sense of humor with us. We're gonna fuck with you the whole time. I'm just hired for me. <laughs> He's like, I'm prep mind. I need my carbs. All right, everybody. It is back day at Pump Town, and we have two guests. Mr. Kyle Wilkes and Anton Rakushny. I did that right. Correct? Yeah, you said it good. Yeah, yeah. I did a good job. Yeah. Two new athletes for Axe and Sledge. I've known Kyle for a while. He is a phenomenal coach. So get ready for a ton of new content that we will be doing with someone that is very knowledgeable in the bodybuilding industry and has quite the history with very good athletes. So we're excited that you're here. And one of his young athletes, a 19 year old phenom, Anton, um, came into town at the mayhem week of Black Friday, yeah, but we're excited hectic. for it all. Yeah. You took the internet by a little bit of storm there, people just being like, who the fuck is this kid? Yeah, somewhat. I mean, some people, yeah. So we just, I just finished up uh, two, I did three shows technically, so two weekends in a row, uh, took the overall and classic and both. So that's probably why people have been talking about me, my physique, and yeah. So I'm 19 years old and I have one. a uh, couple overalls this prep. So that's probably why people have been talking about me. Yeah. yeah. And you look like a fucking freak. Uh, we're excited. We're going to train back. We are going to go through whatever Kyle says we're doing today. We trained chest yesterday and I hated it. Um, Kyle is real big on eccentric training, you know, focusing on the mind and muscle connection. I'm more of a pump guy. Meathead. <laughs> I, whenever we, we first, first set we did, I was like, not really big on eccentrics. He's like, I, I noticed that. <laughs> Very kindly saying you're a fucking asshole and we should do it this way today. So, um... It's been fun. It's been great having you guys in. We went and saw, uh, we went and saw Jim and Tyler yesterday. Did some posing for him, which is great. You're in Pittsburgh. Yeah, you got to pay homage to the no, Godfather. Of my life. <laughs> it was really <laughs> epic. Yeah. Still but gonna take me some time to process that event. It was epic. What are you two and a half weeks out from nationals? Yes, sir. So we're locking in. A couple, Nineteen days left um, to bring you know the best package to date. Um, you know we have Kyle by my side. Now we finally met up this prep. So. So now I'm more confident that he knows how I look in person. He's confident in the package. So definitely gives me more confidence, you know, moving forward and finishing up the, the last two weeks for sure. That's it. It's going to be a good time. Back day. It's your birthday. I got to be nice. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm not. I'm following you. I'm listening to you. It's your birthday present. I'll go with you. You know what I realized today? I'm not, I'm not all for the birthday anymore. I feel awkward. Everybody's like, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. I'm like, god damn it. I feel pressure from it. I like my birthday, but I don't know. It's just another day. Must be the number. It is the number. <laughs> we'll start with the warm-up and the pullover. I either use a rope or an easy bar. It doesn't matter. Whatever's comfortable. Yeah. Just to get some blood flow. Just stretch everything out. Okay. And then we'll go on to our first main movement. And we'll see what you got here. Okay. I'm excited. This is like, this is, uh, I enjoy this type of shit. This is one thing that I, I'll bring it up, I bring it up every now and then, but uh, one guy that I fucking wish I would have trained with was John Meadows. Just because going through other people's workouts is a lot of fun. You get to see what it's like. Did you? Yeah. I, we hung out a couple of times, but never got to train with him. And just, just such a, he's a sweetheart of a man. It's, it's yeah, unfortunate. It's a way of like uh, teaching the concept in a, with some humor. Right? He didn't critique you. And I try to emulate the way he tries to explain things to where, let me make you feel it. Once you feel it, I don't care what you used to do, do this. <laughs> you know? Fuck eccentric training. I was telling him, whenever I'd get together with Hani, he'd always be like, he'd always be like, slow down, breathe. And that's all he was doing to Anton yesterday. Slow down, breathe. I'm like, fuck. Gotta get back into it. Twelve to fifteen, nothing hard, okay? Just go like blood flow. What free bar? What free weight you used to do for rows? Like, what did you do for back primarily? What's like your best rowing movement? Uh, so. You're like a barbell row guy, dumbbell row. Single arm, 
Single arm dumbbell rows were one of my favorite exercises to do for back. Yeah. However, like not until um, probably like 2015, 2016 is whenever my back really started to change uh, just because I started doing a shitload of pull-ups. Pull-ups are what kind of started making me feel yeah. everything. And uh, But before that, I was always a pull-down guy because I was like, I got big legs. I can't do pull-ups. It's like, listen, you fat fuck. Get on the assisted pull-up and start doing them. And it changed my back and it changed how I feel, everything. And then uh, one-arm dumbbell rows. And uh, I do heavy barbell rows. I'd go up to like 315, but it'd never get pretty. It'd never it'd be, sloppy. yeah, it'd start getting sloppy. 275 was usually where I hung out and I was like, yeah, this is good. Yeah, like six to eight reps. Yeah. But anything heavier than that, I just... It turns into like a upper back movement, yeah. like a shrug, you know? I was So depending on the angle I'm going, my shoulder will be in the opposite, right? So if I'm trying, this is obviously designed to kind of, the angle the trajectory is going to be upwards, right? Yeah. So if I want to try to isolate my lat, I'm going to make sure I'm keeping my shoulder higher so I'm driving higher as opposed to being in a weird plane. You know, lower like, if it's lower. Exactly. As far as where I start, I just try to keep tension. So like if you put your hand on my left lap, right? I try to keep tension before I begin as opposed to relaxed, right? Yep. So I'm here and then I kind of drive through, huh. right? So nice short movement, so I get a good stretch and then I'm driving, I'm trying to scrape my rib cage. Lift your chest as you fall. Good. Yay, Nay. Yeah, I'm feeling them. This is one of the only times that I've ever been intimidated in this gym by other men's calves. My calves are good, right? You got big calves. You know why? His are shredded, yours are big. I know the secret, I ain't patented it yet. Oh, what is it? Incline you can tell everybody? I don't know if I should yet. I'm serious, I'm, I'm serious. I mean, if, <laughs> it, if, if, if I haven't trained them in years now. Yeah. I, don't, I don't train mine, I just do a fuckload of cardio. I spent 15 years fat. Uh, <laughs> makes sense. I spent 15 years being fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's been doing like walking around with extra 100 pounds. But that's just Double tight. Big stretch, big stretch, big stretch. Good. I try to conserve all my energy until a top set. Yeah. So whatever my goal is, say it's eight to twelve reps, I'll potentiate. That way I don't just go into like he mentioned I could do four plates. If he just went into four plates right now, he'd probably get a few reps. But if we slowly go plate by plate, quarter by quarter, he can probably get a lot of reps. Yeah. Because now his body's like how I would have somebody work up to their top set. So we can use a row, we can use a bench press, for example. You want to make sure you go in, what is the goal for today? How many reps, right? You generally should have an idea, unless it's your first time around, of what you're capable of doing in that rep range. Now, as far as we go into it, I always suggest warming up, right? Get the feel in the first set. I don't really care about even a contraction on that first set. Just get blood flow. From there, once you have some blood flow, the positioning of the seat is right, the handles are where you want it to be. Now you're slowly gonna start adding weight. However, right, let's just say you're capable of benching 315. You're not just gonna go right to 315. You'll do 135 10 to 15 times. Then maybe 185, you'll hit for a few reps. And as you start to go heavier, you wanna conserve your energy and your resources because if you went 225, you're capable of getting it for 20, 25 reps if you could do 315 for 12 to 15. But if you do that, you're taking away from that top set. So I want it to be where it's one all-out set. It's the heaviest I could do for the most reps I could do on the day. No matter what I do, I can't repeat that today. It doesn't matter what special supplement exists, how much time I take, who makes me angry. Nothing is gonna channel that energy to lift the same way again for that set. And then from there, depending on maybe you're doing a little bit more volume, you can add another set in, what I'd call like a squeeze set to where you reduce the weight by about 20%. And again, you're still focused on keeping as much tension on the muscle as possible. So. That's generally the philosophy I like to have for those one or two primary movements in every workout. And then by the end of the workout, weight doesn't matter as much, right? Because your body is not aware of how much weight you're lifting. Only you are when you're looking at it. What would make you do that extra squeeze set? So generally, I guess, depending on how much 
what I had planned for the workout, right? If it's a bent over row movement, for example, and I did back the day before, I know my spinal erectors are gonna be a little compromised just from training the day before. So if I was, for whatever reason, structured my split to do that, I'm not gonna do a lot, a ton of volume in terms of that kind of movement to where now I'm putting my body in a position that was kind of compromised due to just the lack of recovery from the day prior. Oh. That's it, it's too late, it's too late. So again, oh, yeah, I right, I, like I could do this for time to 15, but I wouldn't be able to go heavier because I'd yeah. be, my resources would go to the bottom, like a gas car, like gas in a car has to yep. be refilled and we're not going to be able to refill it in time. Oh. Oh. You should know by rep three or four, like, fuck, 10 is not going to be easy. Sure. And that could be to the one extreme of like, hey, this is entirely too heavy. In most cases, if we're potentiating slowly like this, you might notice by rep four or five, <laughs> 10 is easy. Yeah. Stop, because now you're wasting your time. Put it down, let your heart rate come back down, So then go a little heavier and attack it. In, in certain training videos, I've referred to this as like instinctive training. It's mm -hmm. kind of just like feeling it out and knowing your body and feeling it, but it's... it's I think it's easier when you have a set regimen you're following. I'm not one to just go in the gym every day and do random exercises. No, 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 right? I meant like you go, you have your plan, yep. you have your whole thing, but then if you're like, uh, I guess it's similar, but it's not as laid out as what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like all I was getting at was like, if a minute and I'm like, man, I'm fucking feeling these today, so I, might, I, might, I might slow down and say, I'm gonna save it for a bigger set. So, but that's why, that's what you're referring to as the Exactly, so that's why that first set I know in my head, I'm, I cannot repeat this no matter what you do today. It's the heaviest, hardest exercise. So sometimes people say higher reps or lower reps, heavier weight. To me, heavy weight, high reps. The only way to do that is conserving my energy and you say go. It's good information. Like four plus gonna be easy, 10? If I'm in there, like what would you say? Like if I was like, ooh, I feel like I could get 10 with this. But then you're like, well, I wanted to get 10 on my top set. Would you stop at five? So if you're at a set to where you feel like it might be challenging yeah. and you weren't truly prepared to make this your set, I would stop. Ooh, okay. Right? And then say, okay. Otherwise, if you're in it sometimes, as I think I said to him yesterday, yeah. I'll let you know if I think you should stop. So in his head, this is your set. If I say stop, it's because I know you're capable of doing a little bit more. <laughs> I said I should have ate more carbs. I was fucking with him. Yeah, my carbs are gone at this point. You didn't even do nothing yet. It's a warm up. Yeah, I know. Just started. Your pumped. carbs are gone. I'm pumped. I'm gonna push for. I'm gonna push for a, like a good six. Like squeeze six? the shit up. Fuck. Six plates. Fuck both of you. Six, six reps. Do your fucking set. Six reps. <laughs> <laughs> You're over here telling me all about the eccentric training and I'm buying into your bullshit. I just made it up. Now man. you're fucking with me. <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay, okay. Let's go. Nice. 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 Good. Come on. Itch. Smooth. Itch. Smooth. Itch. Come on. Itch. Huh. Good. Come on. Itch. Okay. Easy. Nice. I'll let them do the other side so I can put the same energy in. Because if I can get the same reps right now as the left side, something's wrong. Can you seriously do that though? You'll let him go on his left? Yeah. Good call. I like I, how could I match it? That means I dog the one side, right? Pleasing yourself mentally during your workout, but yeah. then also not being a fucking idiot. It's a really like, like small equilibrium you have to maintain because like sometimes I just like 
I get pissed at myself because I don't go hard enough or some shit like that. It's usually the set when people abandon everything they just practiced. That was a joke set, you know? Okay. <laughs> Come on. Six. Nice. There. Do this. Nice. There. Put it down here. Nice. There. There. Tight elbow, tight elbow. Come on. Reach all the way forward and touch it. Come on. Two more. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on now. Work. Put the shoulder move forward. I think just put my chest move forward. Perhaps, yeah. I think keep my chest <laughs> Nice. Nice, come on. Okay. Good. Good, buddy, come on. Yes, come on. Easy. You're strong, you're strong. <clears throat> Don't start to break form. Control the way you respect it. Good. <clears throat> One more. Nice. <clears throat> Good set. Come on now. Come on, birthday boy. Come on. Come on. I think it was 20 on this side. Are you, are you gonna be like fresh. anal about it? Like, I have to get the same as the other side. No, but I would always start with my, a lot of people say like start with your stronger side, right? or start with your weaker side. Yeah. I start with my stronger side and make my weak side have to get there. If I have to rest pause to get there, I'll make sure I get there. Right. As yeah, opposed to starting with my weaker side, my strong side's never getting any work, you know? Nice. I turned pro with a ton of bad habits. Like my training was not up to par. Hani was on my ass. Like my back is my weakest body part. Hit by far, my back is shit. Pull ups changed my development. Hani would tell me and I'd lie to him, like when I was younger, but then once I trained with him, he's like. It's like hitting back double biceps every time. But, but learning how, like he was saying, like how your elbows track, yeah, like yeah. all these things, now that we have phones and we can watch ourselves, it's, it, you're able to pick out so many things that you've done wrong or have these, dude, you, you don't, I see myself because we film, we film myself a lot, but like you'll even see like, man, he could watch it and be like, yeah, you should do this and you'd actually get better. Yeah. People that pay attention and have a knack for training will see it. And that's why like I love this, like training with somebody else who's really in the training and their philosophies, but paying attention to that because, uh, dude, I turned pro with bad habits, yeah. but then like once I became a pro, it's like, I'd like to be a good one. Good.
good, man. Repeat that every every rep. Good, buddy. Control, control, control. Slight pause. Engage. Drive. Good. Override that thought to lean back. Good. Strong. Comes. Here you go. Oh, I'm sweaty. Ready. Black palm is kicking. <laughs> we got the cutoff right this time. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, okay. Good. Oh, good. Nice. 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 Good. Come on. Killer. Killer. There it is. Come on. Come on. There it is. Nice. Good. Seven, come on, don't keep back. Good. That's it, dude. Good. Yeah. Negative hit. Fucking right. One. Yes. Got at least three in you. Three, two, one. Good. Come on now. Three, two, one. Yes. At least one. At least one. Three, two, one. Oh. Three, two, one. Oh. Three, two, one. Good. Three, two, one. Oh. Three, two, one. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Go. Three, two, one. Three, 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 three. Two. Three, two, uh. one. Come. Three, two, one. Oh, last one. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh, two, one. Stop. I got it. Good. Oh, my God. Yeah. Good set, please. Quality, not quantity. Quality. Yes, sir. If you only get six. I don't care. I don't Make them perfect. I don't Make them perfect. Three, two, one. Excellent. Have intent. Three, two, one. Good. Every rep is better. Three, two, one. Good, Anton. Come on. Three, two, one. Good, buddy. Come on. Three, two, one. With me. With me. Three, two, one. Good, buddy. Come on. Three, two, one. With me. Don't cheat. Don't cheat oh, yourself. Sorry. Three, two, one. Good. Give me one more. One more. We got you. We got your help. Don't give up. Come on. Three, two, one. Good. Control the stress when you're done. Control it. Control it. Control it. Good shit. Take it. Oh, that was great. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you for sponsoring this pump. <laughs> Meet you at. You tried to get going on that one rep, huh? Yeah. I like it was it. like three, it's gone. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I, I just didn't even think. I was three, just, two, just survive. Just survive through the set. Main difference. Well, how I would direct differentiate lat to yeah. shoulder or to upper back. Mm -hmm. On this, it, he has really good shoulder mobility, so you can really see it. 
but the more into protraction your shoulders can go, mm -hmm. and then the more you retract. Yeah. So in other words, the more open your shoulder blades get, right, versus the more close together they get, the more upper back they'll get. Yes, sir. I got it. All right. So other cues you could think of is drawing a C with your elbows, but make sure you get that stretch. If you don't get that stretch, then you're not really you're kind of you're missing part of the movement. Make sense? Yeah. No, I liked it because, like you said, trying to make a seat with your back. Right. I guess that. that I feel like that's generally helpful. Now you're getting the flow of it. Yeah, I love it. Okay, okay don't rest the button. Keep tension. Good. Strong. Let's go. Good. Good. Come on. One more. Okay. That's it. Gotcha. I'm good at this shit. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not good at that. That was slick. That was slick. Uh, gotta go poopy. You gotta go poopy in your diaper. You gotta go poop. I'm about to poop myself through the set. 19 days. Come on. Good. That's powerful. Come on, buddy. Rip that shit. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Just down. Just nice, down. nice, oh, nice, oh, nice. Oh, oh. Okay, you're good. I'm good. No, I'm good. I was just pausing. I'm good. Don't, don't hold it. Chest on the back. Try to keep chest on the back. Come on. Last one, last one, last one. That's good. Good sir. Nice. We're going to go up and wait, yes. I'm going to move up. Are you shitting or being true? I might need to shit. Okay, that's a poop. Cool, Alright. I don't know. Why not? You're good. Oh man. We need to live in this world. Advice advice from an older cat that had a whole lot of potential. Everybody says but everybody everybody has potential at some at some point. Your coach is always going to be insanely fucking hard on you, as he should. That's why you have him as a coach. But you need to live here, live here. Fuck everyone else. Fuck the good and fuck the bad. Go after your goals. This is where you live. Where I failed was I didn't, I, my coach was looking out for my best interest. Once I started winning shows and becoming Seth Ferrosi, never losing a bodybuilding show, I started to think I was more special than I was. Now, motherfucker, I was damn good. However, I got ahead of myself. And then once I got inside my own head, my everything in my life started falling apart. I had nothing to come back on. That's why today I'm so, I have such a solid foundation is because I know what it's like to be, to be the biggest hype and then fall off a fucking cliff. You live here and focus on the greatest goals you could ever achieve. Think the biggest, most wildest dreams and go the fuck after. You start to do very well in bodybuilding, right? A lot of people are going to try to gravitate toward you, lure you in, and sell you some kind of dream, right? It's easy to get caught up with that in our contemporary era, but just remember who was there from the beginning. Remember what you ultimately want. If you wrote down on paper right now what it is you want to become, you're well beyond what you already thought you probably could do, right? Yeah, but that's always going to be changing. So. Always have another goal you're chasing in your head, and if you're forever chasing that, yeah. you'll continue to live up to that, right? Yeah, but don't get caught up in that like uh, instant gratification. Nothing easy 
yeah. comes like, this way, probably, right? As you, everyone says about the process, like getting <laughs> there, getting there is much more like in, even more enjoyable than being there for thirty seconds. A lot you know? of people who say that shit have never felt it. Yeah. They've never, they've, they've never felt it. I did. I fucked up, and then I had to come back from it. It's been a wild journey, and I'm, journey, and I'm grateful for it. But take another thing of your advice as possible. Yeah, hundred percent. Good news happens slowly. Bad news happens very fast. Yeah, yeah. Right? Think about anything exactly. that happens in life, right? Bad, the worst things are like all of a sudden they just happen. The really good things take time and they have a story. You have a story. But as far as where your potential is, it's way, way beyond this roof. But just stay locked in. Exactly. Right? Yeah, keeping myself grounded. Yeah. Don't Even in the world. I fucking love it. I love this shit. Oh! Oh! Three. Good. Come on. Let's go, Kyle. Oh, oh my. Okay, that's it. Gotcha. Oh. Good. Every rep like that. Let's go. Head neutral. Good. Head neutral. Head neutral. Head neutral. Mm. Two more. Keep your chest on the back. Um. Good. Last one. Good. That's Good. Oh, shit. It's up. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on! What the fuck's going on? Oh, yeah. Is that what he called him? Sussy Bucko. Dude, I'm sussy Bucko. Yeah, I'm a little sussy Bucko. I'm using that on. on, on I want to see if uh, Adam's boyfriend, he's 18, so I'll see if he knows. Yeah, just call him Sussy Bucko, you little sussy Bucko, yeah. He is a little sussy Bucko. Sussy, yeah, that's from uh, Among Us. You gotta know that. I didn't get into that, bro. <laughs> Come on. Good. Easy. Oh. All this does is just make me miss. This? Everything. Really? Watching him. Yeah. Come on, buddy. It's just tall, faster. Good. Feels so good. Nice. Nice. Flex. Good. Don't start leaning back. Come on. Stay locked. In it.
Good. I <laughs> pump. Front double bicep. Side chest. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. You look better today than you did yesterday. Yeah, all the water came off. Yeah. That's a wrap. So the link or the uh, the workout will be in the bio. I enjoyed this, gentlemen. This was good. I'm pumped. Thank happy, you for the workout. Happy Thank birthday. you so much for having us. Happy birthday, Seth. I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate the opportunity to work uh, with you and everything. Thank you. Kid, I'm excited for you, bud. Thank you. You've got a lot of potential, like I said. Keep the fucking blinders on and go after your shit. Don't Sorry. let all the noise get to of you. Of course. I'll listen to it That's... 100%. <laughs> but uh, other than that, make sure you follow Anton at... Anton underscore underscore SWL SWL Aiden will put it <laughs> you gotta, and then it's Kyle 23 you gotta have your Instagram handle on your That's ankle. It. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, what is that? <laughs> so motherfucker <laughs> um, and then uh, Kyle dot Wilkes uh, at Kyle dot Wilkes um, on Instagram uh, you'll see a lot of stuff with Kyle we needed somebody to come on the team that could teach us basic shit from a uh, nutrition standpoint, from a coaching standpoint, training standpoint, as you can see from the workout, putting me through something different. I'm excited for all the new content that we're gonna do, dude. Gentlemen, thank you Appreciate guys for coming in. Appreciate Other than that, we're gonna keep doing cool shit. Expect a lot of fun stuff to come. And the fucking, the youngin, oh. I'm pumped for him. Nationals <laughs> in two and a half, so three weeks. Hell yeah. <laughs> Everybody, make sure you do a good job. <laughs> Slap her on the ass or this youngin here, huh? <laughs> Have yourselves Saucy a beautiful bucket, day. Saucy <laughs> Saucy <bucket. laughs> Saucy